Hello, welcome back. If you've missed the first three, this is a four part mini series within a series where I try and reuse a bunch of scrap fabrics that I have in my style pile. In the last three episodes, we made a fox plushie, an eye mask, some embroidery hoop art, all out of scrap fabrics. And in this episode, we'll be making a pin cushion that sits on your wrist. So let's get started. The fourth and final project is going to be a wrist pin cushion. So to make this, I grabbed some of this brown floral fabric. Again, apparently I have a lot of scraps of this fabric and I traced out a circle on it using the embroidery hoop from the previous tutorial. For reference, the diameter of the circle is about five inches. And then I cut this circle out. Now what I'm gonna do next is to do a long basting stitch around the edges of the circle. And for that, I'm gonna use a needle and thread. Now a basting stitch is a long running stitch that looks like this. And after I stitched around the edges, I left my needle threaded and I pulled on the thread carefully so that this happened. I've ended up with a little round pouch with an opening at the top. And into that opening, I'm gonna be putting in small shredded fabric scraps as filling, just like I did for the plushie, until the pin cushion, cushion? Until the pin cushion feels nice and firm. And once it was, I pulled the thread tight to close up the hole and I sewed it closed by doing some more stitches around the hole like this. And when it was all closed, I tied off the thread with a few knots. And this is the main part of the pin cushion. Now I wanted to turn it into a wrist pin cushion. So one that'll sit on my wrist like a bracelet while I'm sewing. And because I don't want to stab myself with pins while I'm wearing it on my wrist, I need something in the way. This old jar lid should work well. I've also seen a tutorial where people can glue it to the top of a jar lid and put sewing stuff inside, which is also a really cute thing you can do, but that's not what I'm doing today. So next I spray painted the lid black so that it looked less like an old pesto lid. And then I measured a piece of elastic around my wrist, added an extra inch to this so it would be comfortable. And then I sewed this elastic piece into a loop. Then I put the elastic around the lid like so, and I got a hot glue gun and I put a big glob of glue into the center. And I used way too much hot glue gun because I don't know what I'm doing. I have a confession to make. I have never used a hot glue gun before. This is my first time ever using a hot glue gun. I know, right? What kind of DIY channel even is this? Yeah, okay, slap it on in there. This will work. I made sure the elastic got glued down in the middle as well with the pin cushion on top. Then I pressed it down hard and I prayed to the hot glue gun gods and it worked, all good. Everything is glued into place and this is what it looks like finished. So yeah, I find wrist pin cushions really useful because they move with me when I move around my sewing room because they're literally stuck on my wrist and it means I don't forget where I left my pins. I also glued a smaller version to the top of my sewing machine because I'm always wishing that I had somewhere to put pins while I'm at my machine. Well, now I do. Anyway, I hope this mini series gave you all a little bit of inspiration for making something out of scrap fabric pieces or super old, worn out clothes. Instead of just throwing those things all away and adding more unnecessary waste to our landfills. Also, these four projects make great gifts. They are simple and easy to do and they'll make you feel like you've done something good for the world. Also, I found through making this mini series that working with a limited amount of fabric really pushes you to be more creative with what you've got. And I really enjoyed making all of these projects for that reason. It really kicked my sewing brain back into gear. And I really think I'd like to try and do more scrap fabric tutorials in the future, especially because my, my scrap fabric pile, well, I mean, even after four episodes, it still, it still looks like this. I hardly even made a dent in it. <laughs> so I guess that means plenty more tutorials to come. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to catch all of my future videos. And thank you all so much for watching. And if you haven't done it yet, go and check out the other three episodes. I hope that you're all having a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon who helped to keep this channel running and allow me to continue making videos for you all. To become a supporter, and seriously, just $1 a month helps out so much, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.